Um, what's what's it like when your business, such as an acupuncture license, is so regulated that it, it costs that much to enter into the field? Mm-hmm. And most of my colleagues, maybe a bunch of yours, are sitting on debt, serious mm-hmm. debt. And how much of their interactions with people in their personal life are voluntary? I would say to look at their own life and analyze that right then. And I think that what I want to know is, like, seriously, how much of their life is really going to be respectful of other people's choices? When you want to go out with your wife do you, uh, and some friends or, like, a whole some of your friends or, say, like, a bunch of people – do you vote on it, on where you're going, or do you have a discussion, and is it more of a consensus-based thing where you, everyone is getting the feel for everyone else and what their preferences are, mm. and everyone is getting an idea, because if someone like, look, I'm really allergic, I can't go to that restaurant, and like, yeah, well, we're not going there because he's really allergic to the MSG that's in that restaurant, so... We're not going to go there, and because we like this, we want him, we, because we value being with the person more than, you know, going to number one Chinese. I think that when people are living within with lots of trauma and conflict in their personal life, if other people are forcing them, they will probably have the desire to force other people because it will be a way to to psychologically consider themselves re-empowering. They want to be on the other side of the gun. Mm. If people are having voluntary interactions and enjoying the sweetness of that life, they're probably going to want to avoid coercive situations. Mm-hmm. My concerns are extremely focused locally and personally, especially personally. Mm-hmm. I'm the one to lift my life up and to to make sure that I I shoot high, I aim high so at least I can get somewhere instead of staying complacent mm-hmm. with a day-to-day grind. I, I am the one to lift my own life up. As soon as I have that edge of the edge between me and another person and interacting with them, I try to understand what is their perspective. The only way I know of to get rid of a coercive, nasty situation that's a monopoly is to produce pluralities that are powerful. Mm-hmm. What I'm hoping is more and more practitioners like you and me will be out there. Like what I want to do is train more practitioners in the future. I want two practitioners in every home minimum. Hmm. And I want that because who else are you going to look to to get things done at 1.30 in the morning when you have a medical problem? Right. Now, there will always be a need for obviously like – highly equipped hospitals and highly proficient practitioners like you and me to do things that the average person can't do yet. But what I'm hoping is more and more technology like fills in the gap. Licenses are a monopoly government coercively removing your legal ability to do what you know how to do and selling it back to you. Yeah. (laughs) Basically. And that's basically it. You know, like, oh, you know how to fish? Well, here, why don't you pay for the ability to fish? 